So guys, the pipe bomb is back. And no, before you get excited, I don't mean back as in it can kill any boss within seconds again. I mean it's back in the sense it allows us to do this with other weapons. Did you see that? Is that the fastest you've ever seen Grave Ward defeated? Check it out again. How is it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of this game to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. And credit to Jake for allowing me to use his account to record this. His Twitter and Instagram can be found linked within the video description also. So guys, I never actually thought I'd utter the words again. But people, the pipe bomb is back. It ain't actually useless anymore and it contributes to something even more deadly. And that is to a build which allows you to one shot everything in the entire game with any weapon. And it's just utterly crazy people. So people this works a lot like the infinity reload and fire rate video I posted yesterday in the sense of pairing a certain mole's class mod with a certain shield and taking advantage of perks that stack. And yes at the moment I believe this is only possible to do on moles but I could be wrong. Watch the way it's achieved and tell me if you can and think this can be done on other vault hunters. Okay, so on moles, to achieve this you need a certain few things. Firstly, a weapon which damages you. Any will work which has a blast radius paired with an elemental burn. I'm using the hornet to do this. You then need the blood letter shield. This has the bonuses of, if moles is healed, she gains shields instead. If she would regenerate health, she also gains shield regeneration. This is a must for this setup. And then if you can find an artifact which helps you regen, that's an added bonus. You can get health regeneration on the blood letter class mod if you are lucky to find one with it on. The artifact I use, the utter idol, works fine though. And as you can see I also have the pipe bomb equipped, which is a must here, but we'll talk more about that in a second. Now the shield is where the fun stuff happens. The shield I'm using here is the trigger happy shield. And as you can see, it grants a plus 22% weapon damage while shields are depleted and also a 10% fire rate, which works amazingly, but it isn't actually necessary. What you want here is a 22% weapon damage. Now with the fire rate, as you saw with the infinity pistol at the start of the video, it basically gives you a crazy fire rate paired with crazy damage. That's what this glitch does. It's basically infinite of both. And it's because we stack these two, these two benefits on this shield. Now if you only want to stack damage and not fire rate as this doesn't work and fit every weapon, I mean you try and control the Lyuda with an insane fire rate, I mean it's almost impossible. And there are many other weapons out there like that. So if you only want to stack damage, there is another shield called the Brawler which gives you plus 25% weapon damage and also gives you 300 plus melee damage. Now if you pair this with a weapon which takes the melee damage and adds that to weapon bully gun output, much like the face puncher shotgun, it's kind of broke. Now I saw this method a while back from a guy called Osterbergs, I apologise if that's not how you pronounce your name. His YouTube can be found linked within the video description though. He posts great daily Borderlands videos and is definitely worth your time checking out. Within his video he also mentions what I will go on to state, that you eventually stack damage so high on your weapons that it will lead you to a dead end because if you continue trying to stack damage you will end up just killing yourself with one hit. Well I have solved this issue so you can literally stack unlimited damage and it's kind of crazy. So before we get into that let me explain how this actually works. So what's needed I've already showcased. A weapon that damages yourself, a shield which gives plus damage on shield depletion, the blood letter class mod and an artifact which gives you health regen is an added bonus. 
So this is how this works. So with this shield giving you plus 20% weapon damage when depleted, the plan is to take our own shield off. This is where within my instance the hornet is needed and what I use to damage myself. So I shoot the floor right next to me to do damage to myself. Now once your shield depletes, your class mod kicks in and tries to regen it. Now because we are still suffering from the elemental effects of the hornet, there is a constant loop going on of us losing our shield and gaining it. Each time this happens, it's stacking the weapon damage bonuses from the equipped shield. The thing is which Ottenberg also mentioned was the fact you can only stack this by damaging yourself with a gun a few times due to it getting into a stage of the weapon having so much additional damage due to this actual looping of depleting the shield and regening it that the weapon will literally just one shot you. Basically meaning you can't stack beyond this point. Well guys, you can and I found the way. It's called the pipe bomb. Yes, the legendary pipe bomb. That's where this fits in. Now the weapon damage stacks don't seem to affect grenades and the pipe bomb is perfect for you to do this. Literally throw it at a wall or the floor, then run and stand within its pool of radiation. Do not, and I repeat, do not stand next to the initial explosion. These hurt like a mofo and you don't want to die as you will have to start the process again. But throwing the pipe bomb at a wall or the floor, then running into its pool, it seriously works a treat in depleting your shield but not killing you and if you're standing still in the radiation pool left by the pipe bomb you'll notice the constant loop of losing your shield and regenerating it again and every time this happens people you are stacking damage bonuses now what i was doing was standing next to a healing vending machine just in case i did almost kill myself so i could quickly run up to it and replenish my health and to be honest killing yourself while doing this isn't hard to do at all now you can stack this for as long as you want, I mean I stacked it for about a minute or two and it ended up doing 10 million plus damage to enemies using the one pump chump. But I guarantee you can get much much higher than this, I mean it's crazy people it really is. Now I do believe other grenades may leave a pool of some elements on the floor which you will be able to stand on which will work like the pipe bomb. I just know the pipe bomb needs not forgetting and while it's a famous grenade many people may still have until this day. I went ahead and pulled it off my wall within my room for this. So yes the pipe bomb returns and returns with a bigger bang than what it went out with. Now dying or quitting back to the main menu resets this but fast travelling doesn't so you can travel about multiple destinations and do what you please. I mean it's a great way of earning XP, you can do this at Salota Shaft, you can do it wherever you like, it's utterly crazy guys. So yes, the pipe bomb returns to help out with what seems to be the most OP glitch ever. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more daily Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. It's the gunner! We got 
Whoever wins the 